Okay. So last week I gave you the snub, but but Nate got the interview. Mm -hmm. Nate got the interview, and uh, you didn't. But you know, I felt kind of bad. But first things first, congratulations for state title. Thank you. You know, Nate did a good job with that interview. I watched it. You did some good questions, and uh, happy to end my uh, senior year on a good note. You know, knowing that. I mean, I think a lot of people were avoiding the weight because you're pretty good, right? You're pretty yeah. good. Um, you've won everything you can win, right? How much momentum do you think last week gives you going into, you know, the college career and, and whether you're doing freestyle or not? How much momentum you got right now, David? A lot of momentum. I'm just excited to go back in the room and train hard. I feel like I got a lot of growing to do, and I feel that's the fun part. I'm excited to get better and excited to work hard for the Iowa State wrestling staff. There were so many cars last week. I, cut, and I said it to, to Joe Williams, and I go, man, did you see all those cars? He's like, in the parking lot? I said, no, eating at that table. <laughs> How many of your aunts and uncles were there? You know, Nate told me, but uh, who, who were they? Who was all there? A ton, ton of legends. You know, uh, Uncle Solomon, Joe Carr, uh, JoJo, just so many family members man, that were there. It was awesome, the support. It was great. I'm truly blessed. Did it make the moment better for you having all that family around you? It made it special. To, you know, a lot of them hadn't seen me wrestle since I was a little, like, younger. So being able to watch me get my last state title was pretty special. All right. Nate got a team point deducted for control of Matt. Did you see how pumped up he was when uh, Ronnie Perry took down the Soaring Eagle Sorensen? It was it was pretty cool. I thought he was, it was just a special moment for him, and he worked so hard there. And uh, I'm really proud of what he's done. And Coach Coach Moore does a great job with the guys. You know, Lockhaven's on the rise for sure. When you look at you know Iowa State, your choice. They had one guy. First of all, let's let's talk about this. They had one guy who made the round of twelve. They brought one dude. He made the round of twelve. Right. I think that says something about him right there, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. You know, and they had a, a blue chipper leave, you know, at the yeah. last month. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they would have had that guy there too, right? right. He would have been close to getting there too. Yeah. So it's like, you look at this and what are your thoughts going in? You know, it was a lean year for him as any, you know, transition years for a lot of programs. But how do you feel you're going to make an immediate impact there in Ames? I'm just excited to go there and work as hard as I can. And I know Iowa State's going to be at the top soon, very soon. And seeing Jared Dagan do his thing and wrestle and scrap, that's what we hope everyone's going to be doing next year. You know, we talk about uh, your, your dad gets me fired up. Does he get you as fired up as he gets me fired up, man? He definitely gets me fired up. I love my dad. He's a great influence in my life, and uh, he's taught me to be uh, just a good person, good character. I think that's more important than how many state tiles you have, you know, what kind of person are you. Can you get him yet? I can get him. Come on now. I can get him. I'm telling you. You'll have to ask him next time you interview him. <laughs> oh, I'm going to. You know I'm going to. When you tell me something like that, you oh, know I'm going to. All right. Being a role model. That's the ultimate thing. They have you here as a role model. You know, you just, we were just talking on the way over. Who was your special guest when you came? Dean Heil and Nathan Tomasello. Nathan Tomasello was, was awesome. I got to take pictures with him and see him when he was here. Dean Heil, great guy. So I looked up to them. You know, they were four-timers. So going into this, going into my high school career, I wanted to do the same thing. And hopefully I inspired some kids today. Did you take some pictures with some kids? Yeah. You great. did. That was nice. It was special. It was good. How, you know, just what you said to me. What's that What's that in your mind when you think about it like, hey, man, this was really big. When, and then you just said it, right? Uh -huh. What do you think it means to those kids? I think, it, I think it means a lot that I'm able to talk to them and share some. You know, I got to talk to some people that lost. And I was telling them, like, I got seventh at OAC. And it wasn't what I wanted, but I know I just had to get better. And so some of the guys, I just told them, just keep your head up. You're on your way to, to greatness. All right, you guys got to get going back to Canton, Maslin. You got anything else for me? Nothing else. God bless. Thank you. Hey, thanks for the time, and good luck next year names.